Hey you two, Kira Twig here, bringing you all an update to my Yu-Gi-Oh! Trade and Sale binder for June 2019. I'll have my rules and wants in the video description down below, so be sure to check them out if you see anything in the binders you are looking for. I've got the two trade binders here to go through. I also have, uh, since I did say this is my biggest trade and sale binder, uh, these five binders. These are mostly my uh, collection binders of cards I've gathered up. But um, just looking to move some of the cards for upcoming sets. So I'll be trading and selling from these two binders, but for the last five, I'll only be selling from. So if you see anything in those binders, they'll be for sale only. I don't know why I'm moving these books, but let's go ahead and get started. If you see anything you want in any of the binders, you can send me a message on Facebook, Skype, Instagram, or email. I'll have all the contact information down below for you. But also, if you want to uh, use the comments, you can just use those for any questions you have on any of the cards you see, whether it's a uh, rarity or just what the specific card is. Uh, much easier for all of us uh, that way. Also, don't make an offer in the comments. Uh, much uh, more private to use the other uh, contact information. If you want to purchase any of the cards you see in any of the binders, you can use uh, Facebook Cash, uh, PayPal, or uh, regular cash. Um, much easier that way as well. I know some people just prefer to buy cards than to uh, trade for them if they're looking for specific things. But other than that, we'll get through all the binders and get on to trading and selling. I know I normally don't have the other binders, but like I said, just trying to move some of the cards I have to get ready for upcoming sets like uh, Battles of Legend and the Megatons. So if you see anything uh, for trade in these first two binders or sale, uh, you can message me. But just as another reminder, just so you can see it throughout the whole video, uh, if you want anything in the last five binders, I'm only selling from those ones. So just remember that. But... Uh, we're in the monsters for the last pages here, and uh, mostly try and keep them all organized. With the last five binders, there's not going to be any organization. It's just basically how I remember all the cards in the binders and where I place them. That's it for the first binder. For the last one that you all are familiar with, this one mostly just has multiple cards behind them, which you can ask me about, but if there's a sleeve, there's more than likely just one card. Uh, with those cards. I also have a good number of dual power cards still, which I just didn't put in the binder because of the fact that it took up a good amount of space as well. And also, uh, like I said, I tried to keep the binder as organized as possible, but sometimes cards just go one place or another. And uh, a couple blank spots also just didn't have time to restock some of those pages as well. But other than that, everything in the binders are also mint condition unless stated otherwise. I don't really like to keep uh, non-mint cards in any of the uh, binders. Just much easier that way for me to remember when I'm trading with people uh, that way or not. So they know what is for trade and what isn't. But even if the cards are upside down, they could still be for trade. They're just ones that I put in the wrong way and was just too lazy to move back to normal or not but we're getting done with the trade binders here and then after these pages we'll move on to the cell binders traps on these pages to finish that up all right as we move on to the last five like i said before these binders are uh cell only for these ones, there are a couple that I'll also go through that probably only selling as playsets. Uh, Danger Suchinoko, the only one I have uh, for those, but for some of the other pages. If you normally see like a playset, I'm probably only moving it as a playset as well, just as another heads up there. But these are all Ultra Reborn Tengus as well from the Sneak Peek promos. Secret Gamma Seals, these are all gold Grand Spellbook Towers. It's a Shonen Jump Slifer. Electromites, I think they vary. There's maybe one, nope, uh, two from the Extreme Force Booster. The other one's from the Mega Tin. Dual Terminal Cell Phones. Uh, I've got some Element Sabers on these pages still left over. Super Rare Overload Fusions. It's a Jump 
Stratos. And the same goes for the cards in this binder, more than likely all mint condition. And the collection binders, I don't really like to keep damaged cards in them. These are two Ultra Cyber Angels, one Super. These Miracle Fusions are from the Raw Yellow Mega Pack. Uh, Seeger Rare Phantom Sky Blaster, all Seeger Rare Break Swords, Artifact Sanctums. Probably would like to move the whole uh, Golden Castle deck as a whole if I do move it. I, you know, wouldn't want to split anything up from it. A couple other cards here. Same with the Insector Core all together. When I prefer to move Ultimate Rare Giga Mantises. A couple other ones. Rare Mimic Hat. Uh, play set of Watt Giraffes up there. This is a Seeker Rare Foolish Burial Goods. Uh, the Danger Core would probably also prefer to move as a whole as well. Um, the Suchinojiko, I'm not counting with them, but the Jackalopes, Nessies, Bigfoots, all those. Uh, definitely would prefer that. Uh, Playset of Diagrams, these are from the Battles of Legend for all three. Last page here for this binder. And onto the green one sorry about that glare there it always does this with the one side of the binder whenever i open the page but a couple other cards it's common tin goldfish uh, some rockets orbital sevens on these pages cherries harpy dancer rainbow over dragons uh, we got two Union Hangers here. Claire and Rushkas on those pages. Ultimate Rare Beatrons. Ultimate Rare Coco Pakapu. Ultimate Rare Chaku Chalua. Rainbow Bridges. Probably the same as all the other deck cores, probably moving the X Sabres as a whole. Toon Kingdoms, more Mimicats on these pages. You got three play sets of Millennium Eyes Illusionist. These were Seeker Rare Terraformings and Seeker Rare Emergency Calls. These are original pack Jackal Kings, Vampire Suckers. These are Megatons from the Legendary Duelist 2. This is a Ghost Rare Near Mint but Unlimited Stardust Dragon. Seeker Rare Gold Sarks. Left Arm Offerings, Artifact Ignitions, Dracosax Seeker Rare from the Mega Pack. And then that see, always does it on the first and last page. And then on to the third binder. I'm just going to do it here. Am I going to focus on the one? Yep, focus on the one page to try and prevent that. A couple Super Rares from the OTS Packs on these pages. And it's a super rare Ash Blossom. These are original pack uh, Vision Hero Vions. Phantom Knights, Seeker Rare Fog Blades. The other ones are also Seeker Rare up top. These are also original Jackal Kings, Cosmojo, uh, Solds, and Summon Sorceresses. Harpies, probably like to move them all together if I do end up moving them. Brilliant Fusions, these pages, Seeker Rares, the Wolf Barks. These are from Duelist Dragons of Legend 3. And Super Call by the Grave up there. It's an Ultimate Rare Air Hummingbird. A couple of TGs, two Bone Towers as well. Trains. Probably moving as a whole. And then you've got two Savage Dragons here. I think I have an extra one as well in some of the other binders. Silent Magician. A couple of the fusions here. Trickstar cards. Plenty of Coral Banes. Sekka's Light Super Rares. More zombie support on these pages. Guard Dragons. Evil Eye cards up there. And we've got two more books left to go through. We'll go with the 
like I said, biggest trade binder yet. And we'll see. I didn't want the video to be too long, but when you're going through seven books, it's bound to be at least some length wise. Ultimate Rare Hero Lives. Some Dark World cards here. Winter Cherries. These are all Ultra from Kaiba Collection over here. Some Blue Eyes cards on these pages. Play set of Bingo Machines. That's uh, Legend of Blue Eyes Unlimited. Mint Condition Regeki. Some Samoons for Black Wings. Two Secret Rare Dark Worms. Those are uh, two Ultras and one Secret Window. Some other Super Rares from the OTS pack on these pages. Secret Rare Sages with Eyes of Blue. Valkyrie cards, plenty of them on these ones. Gale Dogras. Wind Up Rats. Yang Zing, kind of core. Condemned Witches. Couple cards from Speed Duel as well. Herald of the Arc Lights. And I've also got a couple more there. Invocations. And these are Secret Rare Cosmo Dark Destroyers. Subterra Nemesis Archers. Uh, Chocolate a la mode. And that's a multi faker. All right, for the last book, it's not completely filled because as I add on to these collection binders, I also um, you know, get more and more. So this is the latest one, Ultra Rare Ash Blossoms up there. Uh, Cyber Dragon Natchters Bond with Teacher and Students. Uh, two Ultra Impermanences. Utopia Doubles, Platinum Gadgets, Magician of Chaos. And just a final reminder, with the last five binders, these are all sell binders, not trading for anything out of these binders. Like I said, just looking to move some stock from these binders, that's why I'm showing them. Just to try and move a couple cards. That's a Dengirsu Ultra from Dark Neostorm. Uh, Quantal set here as well. Uh, play set of Ghost Bell from that set also. Boraloads. This is a Mega Pack one. The other three are, the other four are from the uh, Dual Power. A couple other cards here. An additional Bingo Machine. And that is it. So once again, if you saw anything and would like to make a trade from the first two binders or purchase anything from the last two, you can message me on any of the contact information I have down below. But until next time, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And Kira Twig out.